Hey everybody, Jay Super Awesome here. I'd like to welcome you all to week number 14 of the Horror Man Slashback Saturday Challenge. This week's slasher movie theme is Twisted Slashers, and I will be giving my review for Final Stab. Okay, so getting into the plot for this one. A murder mystery weekend, the perfect time for a perfect crime. At a secluded estate, a group of college friends have gathered together for a weekend of fun and games. Killer, victim, or innocent bystander, they all have their part to play. But when people began disappearing and the bloodshed turns out to be real, everyone quickly realizes that the only way out of this killer game is to be the last one left alive. Okay, so getting into my thoughts for this one. With this week's Slashback Challenge theme of Twisted Slashers, I chose to watch and review Final Stab, also known as Final Scream, basically because it has a standard slasher movie setup with the storyline, it does have a few twists and turns along the way, and it does have a twist at the end. Now, I will say that if you are a person who watches a lot of slasher movies, maybe you will see the twist coming from a mile away, but then again, maybe you won't. Overall, I thought Final Stab was a very fun and entertaining slasher movie, and it's definitely one that I'm going to be able to recommend to slasher fans. Especially if you are a fan of slasher movies during this time period, Final Stab was released in 2001, and movies like Scream, I Know What You Did Last Summer, and even Urban Legend were still really popular during this time. But I would say that Final Stab is a little bit more on the level of B-movie slashers such as Cut or maybe even something like The Pool. So even though I feel like Final Stab fits in pretty well with all the slasher films that I just mentioned, I feel like it's even more relatable to a classic 80s slasher film, and that would be April Fool's Day. Both films have very similar storylines, Final Stab does try to change it up some with having its own twist, but if you are a fan of April Fool's Day, then you will know what to expect going into this one. There was something that I found to be really interesting at the beginning of this movie. It does start off like a traditional slasher movie, but maybe you can consider this to be a twist or just simply a role reversal. Now, I'm not going to give any detail that's going to spoil anything about the movie, so I'm going to give my thoughts. So the movie opens up like a traditional slasher film, and in most cases, we would get a girl who's home alone watching a horror film. She's called up by her boyfriend who wants to come over, so she gets off the phone with him to go shower, and then we would have some potential stuff with the killer before the boyfriend arrives. But in this movie, we have a complete role reversal. So instead of having a girl who is home alone, we have a guy who is home alone watching a horror film. And I believe he said it was Green Zombie. But regardless, he gets a call from his girlfriend who wants to come over. He lets her go to shower. And we have some potential stuff with the killer before she arrives. So it's pretty much the same setup, just a gender reversal. It's not anything that's a big deal whatsoever, but it's definitely something I notice because normally we get the shower scene with the girl, but this time around it's the shower scene with the guy. You see what they did there? They changed things up and twisted things up from the get-go. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the cast of characters we have in Final Stab. So the main characters of this movie's storyline would be Charlie and Angela. They are in a relationship, and they are dealing with some issues with Charlie's past, some things that he has had trouble getting over. Angela's snotty sister has arranged for a weekend getaway at a secluded estate with their former college friends, who all know about the murder mystery weekend, so the joke is going to be on Charlie and Angela. We also have three side characters. Three guys have showed up at the secluded estate who know nothing of the murder mystery weekend. One guy in particular has revenge on the mind, and his friends are along to help him out. Overall, I thought all the characters were pretty decent in this movie. There's not really any standouts for me, but overall, I thought the acting was pretty solid. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the most important part of a slasher movie, that is the killer and the kills. And I absolutely love the look of the killer in Final Stab. The mask that the killer uses really reminds me a lot of the mask the killer wore in the slasher movie Cut. 
It's very similar, but it's different enough. The killer's weapon of choice in Final Stab is a knife, and unfortunately, that doesn't add a lot of variety to the kills. The movie does have a pretty decent body count, and there's a decent amount of blood, but I don't consider this to be a gory movie. And all the kills seem to be pretty repetitive, all consisting of stabbings or throat slicing. We do have one strangulation by a rope in this movie, and that's about it for the kills. Overall, I thought Final Stab was a fun and entertaining slasher movie. I'm going to recommend it to slasher movie fans. And I'm going to recommend this Blu-ray release put out by Masker Video. I thought the picture and audio quality on this release was really good. It has a 2K restoration from the 35mm original camera negatives. I'm going to give Final Stab a 6.5 out of 10. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if you have seen Final Stab. Or just let me know what you think about my review. And I would like to thank you all for watching.